Okay, here outside my house, right here on my deck, I got an outdoor outlet. Um, on the outlet on the left, this one's kind of intermittent. Uh, most of the time, this one doesn't even work at all. But here, if I plug in my tester, um, you can barely see it, but the light—you know—the lights are coming on. Um, so, th at this, for whatever reason, today it's working on this side. Uh, usually, on the one on the right, it's usually the one that always works, but. Today seems like they are working. Another issue too is um, if I go to try to hit the test, the GFI outlet is not working. So that could be a, uh, a huge safety safety issue. Um, I already went ahead. You know, I think in my case I went to Home Depot, but you know any any big hardware store uh, will have something like this. So but before you can change these things out, you obviously need to uh, throw the breaker. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go do that. Now, usually in a basement or some kind of closet somewhere, you're going to have some kind, of, you know, some kind of electrical panel. So you open it up, uh, you know, a whole slew of different uh, circuit breakers, and if you're lucky, they'll be actually labeled um, here. When I first moved into this house, here's how everything was labeled. Everything you know, written pencil, but you know the labels half falling apart and half most of the stuff's all scratched out. So most I can see is I see bed, bed, light, something or the rest of stuff kit for obviously kitchen, but the rest of it's all gone. You know I have tried to relabel it, so I've been you know. As I've need, as needed, I've gone through and labeled what you know what some of the stuff I was, but, but I haven't gotten around to all of it. And in this case, um, for that particular outlet on on the deck, I have no idea which which outlet it is. There's a few things you can do. You have to get like some kind of a helper to have them, you know plug something into the outlet and just go you know, through one by one. It's flipping them and. Then yelling up, up and down stairs like, "Hey, is that it? Nope. Is that it? Nope. Is that it? okay?" Another uh, thing you can use a a um, a particular tool that you know that will actually put a signal through the wire, and you can go and then scan through it. So on this particular tool, uh, again, bought this at a standard hardware store. This little device you actually would plug into your outlet and it sends a signal down. And then this is a little uh, sensing device that when you go back to your uh, circuit breaker, you can go try to figure out where it's from. So here we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. And it's already making some kind of racket. And on this particular tool, uh, I have you know, the on-off button here. So I turn this on until the red light comes on. And then it has like a little trigger. So I, I, if I remember correctly with this, I put up against against the device. Um, I line up the the LED with the little there's like a little bullseye on the on the back end, and then I just hold on the trigger. So somehow it gets it to it gets it to sync up. Now here back at the at the electrical panel, what we do is you just go back and you can run through with this over the electric panel. So. The idea is, as you're going through, uh, it'll start to beep at kind of when you start to get close. Now, the thing is, with this particular one, it can get this one can get sensitive. So, um, obviously, you heard beep next to others. So, like, so it beeps here, it beeps on that one, beeps over here. So, the thing is, something like this could kind of gets sensitive. So if you're starting to get beeps on other uh, circuit breakers, what I do is I just hold, I'll hold it uh, maybe off by an inch, and then and then go through. So there's nothing here. Ah, right. Okay, holding an inch away. Right now, the only one that's beeping is on my panel is number eight. So we're gonna go ahead. We'll flip number eight. All right. Well, we're back at the outlet. As you can tell, uh, my little device is not beeping anymore, and the light's not coming on. So that tells us, well, we got the right uh, circuit breaker. 
All right, well, we've turned off the breaker, so we're going to go ahead and take off this little panel first. And then next, we take off the, these other screws here. As a precaution, I like to use a little scanning tool and then just kind of run inside the box just to double check to make sure everything's off. Sometimes the circuit might be off, but there might be others that are running through, uh, you know, because we might be using this box as, as kind of a hopping point to another one. And so this is just so I know that there may be something back there, but in most cases, when I've, that I've seen the other live circuits running through the box, even though this is off. Um, it's you know you don't have to worry about too much, but it's good to know that that it's there. All right, so no, that's off. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off this tape. And this is kind of interesting. I decided just to strip the center. I've never seen this before. <laughs> so what we're going to do is, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to chop this, and then I'm going to get some another uh, piece of wire, and then I'm just going to splice it on, because this, this is silly. <laughs> so go ahead, chop it. Use a, a stripper to get a little bit more. This is a 14 gauge wire. Two hours is pretty, sometimes three, three can be a little bit of a challenge.
Now I got the three, the three wires wrapped around each other. So I'm going to go ahead and put my cap on it. And it's just nice and, nice and screw on. Uh, unbox and unbox a new one. Now for these, um, some of these come with a uh, with a green wire, or I'm sorry, a green screw for and this is for uh, for running uh, grounding wire. The idea is you hook up a wire here, and then you hook it up to somewhere in the box, or, or sometimes you may have a green wire in here. This is generally if you're going to be putting stuff into a, uh, into a plastic box, and you don't have anywhere to uh, ground it, so you're going to have to ground it here. This is our, since in here I'm already dealing with a metal box. Um, the little ears here will uh, allow it to ground to this and back to the conduit. And let's see. What you Okay, so here I'm already have a problem with uh, trying to fit this in. So well, the first thing I need to do is um, I need to break these little ears off, and they they come a little I don't want to say perforation, but they have a little groove in there, so you can just bend these off. So, yeah. Sometimes you don't have to; it depends on what your setup is. All right, if you ever need to know how far I need to strip, uh, strip these wires, these are usually well, um, right behind the rest uh, the real outlet. has a little strip guide. So if I hold this wire here, just, yeah, it's this part, it's close enough. This one, a little bit long. So trim it, trim it down a little bit. Since we're using a, uh, a GFI outlet, um, they have two different banks to hook these things up. If you're using this breaker here to help protect um, circuits down, you know, I don't say down, uh, down range from it, or just further down, right here they have like a, a little warning up with the tape saying that you would hook up those anything else to, to this. And then whatever being supplied, your supply uh, lines go to here. So in this case, I don't have anything down, um, you know, down circuit from this. So I'm going to leave this alone. And it just tells you exactly uh, right here what colors you need to match it up. So you know, white for neutral, um, black, maybe red, or some other color will be for your hotline. So and that's up to even too. They even color code the, the screws. So we're going to open this up. So, and so what's kind of nice is with these holes, some of the older ones don't have this. Just put your wire in here. And clamp down. It doesn't need to be super tight, but do it to the other end. in nice and tight okay now we'll just go ahead and shove it back all I have to do is just shove it back in since they're solid core wire hard tendency to get in there all right, all right let's put since your box is a little smaller we'll go ahead and put these through the 
little square holes here. Alright, since I have a slightly screw, screwy setup here, you know, normally this would go completely within the box, but the box is slightly recessed in whatever this little wood square thing I have going on here. So, next all I would do is put the, the insulation back in, and let's put the cover. All right, I went back in, the, in through the breaker, so we're going to go ahead and give us a quick test. And, okay, I'm going to first reset this. All right, reset. Okay. You can kind of barely tell. So they got lights there, and they're showing that they're correctly wired. Go ahead, I'm going to hit the test button. Okay, my lights went out. A little reset button came up, popped up, and it has a little red indicator uh, just right under it. So that one worked. Again. All right. That's it. That's how you switch on an electric outlet. All right. Thanks for watching.